To many, Ahmad Massoud has become a symbol of Afghanistan's fight for freedom and sovereignty. As the heir of Ahmad Shah Massoud, a guerrilla commander who fought against the Soviet occupation in the 1980s and stood up to the Taliban when they first took over, the 33-year-old international politics graduate represented an alternative to Afghanistan's current reality. A couple of days after the fall of yeah. Kabul, you penned an op-ed for the Washington Post, and I quote, I am ready to follow in my father's footsteps. Mujahideen fighters are prepared to once again take on the Taliban. We have stores of ammunition and arms that we have collected since my father's time. What happened to that pledge, to that fight today? Yeah. Where does the resistance stand as we speak today? Yeah. I stayed in Kabul and many people, they stayed in Kabul with one hope. We were hoping for a peaceful transition. However, unfortunately, the collapse of the government, the miscalculation, and the intention of Taliban for not solving the problem of Afghanistan through peace and dialogue and wasting time, and to take it with, through the battle of gun, it ended in that catastrophe. Since then, he has been leading a military resistance in Afghanistan's north, but is very much on his own. No uh, sane mind will say that no, we don't need anything. Of course we need support, of course we need help. Perhaps even more difficult than negotiating a way forward for the country of his birth is filling the shoes of a man that still lives on as a legend and the embodiment of a different future. Uh, he was a very strong man and he had that sort of charisma in him that when you were with him you would be feel calm. I remember a very hard times came and Panjshir was completely surrounded by the Taliban. They came and they wanted to capture. It was a very, very difficult time. But the people in Panjshir, they were happy, they were smiling. I was like, why? Uh, they had a sort of expression, Omar Saibas, it means he's here. They're like, oh, he is here. He will sort it out. If he managed to defeat the Russians, well, surely he can you know, withstand all this pressure. He was like that. He was a beacon of hope. Annelise Borges, Euronews.